Hi, welcome back everybody. If you've been following along, we are on Unit 3 Appraisal Regulations. This is going to be Lesson 2. We just did Lesson 1. And we have four lessons in this little unit here. Okay, so let's move on. This is for, the, for those who are taking the real estate exam. This should be like a study guide. You just pick out what subjects you need to review and review them. What ones did you do bad on the test? I don't really think, if I recall, taking a lot of appraisal questions on the test. But anyway, we have to learn it to um, get to the test. So we'll go over it. All right. Now this is talking about Maryland. So if this doesn't pertain to you, this one, this might be specific to Maryland, but a lot of these are not specific to Maryland. They are for the enti entire national thing. So, so this this video right here may not, well, it's not all Maryland. There are some things that are not Maryland related. Okay. We're going to move on and look at our resource. All right, for federally transactions, non-complex one to four units. Oh boy, we got a lot of numbers in here. All right, transaction value of less than 250. Commercial properties less than 250. These are federally related transactions, one to four units. Anything over four units, I'm not sure what happens. I guess it goes into commercial, it's not saying. All right, this is the qualifications for Maryland. So this is specific right in here to Maryland, okay? Um, this is what they need to become an appraiser. Now, I don't know why we have this one here. I really don't, because unless you're trying to become an appraiser, why do we need to know this? But anyway, I digress. We're going to move on. All right. I mean, I don't care about all this. I'm not trying to become an appraiser. Seriously. Okay. Home inspector. I mean, these are good fields to be in. I'm just not going to be doing it. But if you're interested in it, these are some of the things you got to do. Okay. Which is a lot. 300 hours of courses by the commission. And you have to take a test. So it's a, it's a lot harder than becoming a real estate agent. Now, a certified residential, you need 200 hours of courses, a bachelor's degree. Oh, my goodness. Maryland has a lot of a lot of rules and, and becoming things. One of the reasons I'm moving, because it's just ridiculous. Look at this. you got to have a bachelor's degree, too. That's almost like becoming a teacher. All right, anyway, I'm going to stop my venting now. Let's move on. Okay, becoming a certified residential appraiser requires less education than becoming a licensed. Well, let's say than a licensed one, I bet. That's 150 for a licensed real estate appraisal. Certified residential appraiser. This is true. A certified residential appraisal requires less hours now certified needs 200 hours license so a license one might be better it's so you only need 150 hours now this is specific in maryland so you need to find out in your state what the rules are more than likely it's easier than maryland because maryland has a lot of stupid rules okay a minimum of 30 hours semester college is to re be required to become a licensed appraiser and I don't think so. I think you need that. Well, maybe not. 30 hours of college. Yep, that's true. Okay, supervised experience is to become a licensed residential appraiser. So they're just talking about a licensed residential real estate appraiser. Uh, it does not say supervision on this. appraiser trainee does but not a licensed residential I don't see it anyway unless I'm missing something here okay I'm going to say no on that one no you do okay 
appraisal experience is needed and you need to be under appraisal. This sounds like it's really involved. It really does. Look at that. You have to complete. Look at all the stuff you got to do for an attorney. And then that's just to become a licensed real estate appraisal. So this is really involved in becoming an appraiser. That's a whole, whole nother. I might do a whole video on that. Becoming a licensed appraiser. I don't know if it's this tough in other states. If you're in another state and you're an appraiser. Be sure and comment and let us know before because this looks pretty involved. In Maryland, anyway. Requires less education. Certify residential. No, that's not true. This is true. And this is true. Okay. Wow. All right. Was that it? On lesson two? Oh my gosh. That's going to be the shortest video ever. I think. Yeah, lesson two. Appraiser qualifications. Okay. All right. So lesson three. I usually do each one in their own video because I don't know how long it's going to be. I mean, it could be super long and then this video will go on really long. I don't know. Do we want to continue? No. Let's make it a new video.